Hello, it's Doc Savior again. Just wanted to show you guys how I finished the last challenge to get to Gen 10. Finally, it was hard, but not impossible. Challenges is what makes this game so great. Frustrating at times, but satisfying once you complete it. It's not easy in comparison to grinding the levels. Challenges changes your playstyle. Right, it forces people, it forces players to use different weapons, skills, and in some form creates balance for you from them. The game itself is pretty balanced. One of the hardest challenges is to lose the challenge. You need to kill the pilots, human players, ejecting from a doom type. It was the reason why most people were stuck at Gen 5. People were crying about this so hard that they have the nerve to challenge to make it easier for them. In my opinion, they should have kept it at 50. Sure, it was hard to complete, but if it was easy, everyone could do it. It is called a challenge for a reason, so make it a challenge. Right now I have one more challenge to do before I get to Gen 10, max level. Need to get one more MVP. I was just showing you that in the beginning of the game. That's when you score above the rest of your team. You don't need to win, but you do need to be the best player on your team. It wasn't easy when you have the players on your team, so sometimes it's best to run solo. The best way to get MVP, in my opinion, was to bomb minions. You know, those runs, veterans you see, you can shoot players. You can also kill pilots, but, you know, it's, it's best just to kill everything that moves and attritions. Yo, this just reminds me, Titan Falls feels like a MOBA. The first mobile, first person shooter. There's minions where you can farm to get Titan faster, similar to when you buy items from mobile games. Well, the Titan in this game is on time, so you get it regardless of how bad you do. Even if you jump in the middle of the game, your Titan will be ready. It plays like a mobile because you really need to push the game to take down the Titan. Well, a few times. I mean, sure, you can be brave and try to take on more than one Titan. I did But it's, it's best to try to work together as a team. You, well, you may have noticed how fast I have the Titan or the damage for ability. That's because of the burn card I call most wanted. I use them in the game. Every time I kill a pilot, it reduces my build time my Titan. Or my Titan's ability. You're unstoppable. Burn card is a game changer. You can start off using a Titan burn card in the game so you can own early game. Or a different sort of burn card to your advantage. But make sure you use your burn cards and all Oh, set up your burn Get to set up the burn but one of the best burn cards, as an example, is map. You can see where everyone is on the map, so you can see where they're coming from. You do lose your burn card once you die, so, but if you live long enough to get a Titan, you can own easily. One of the best burn cards I like is the Echo Wish. It's basically the same as uh, active radar, which makes you see the walls, but the echo vision can you can see permanently the walls. So you can see where the enemies coming from where the pilots are hiding. Especially if you have the ability the mission, so the uh, minion detectors or one of the first minion detectors, which you see that on the map and you notice hey this guy is not appearing on the map, that's the pilot Well, unless they use cloak, but yet the ghost squad from the car, that makes you permanently cloak. So then, yeah, you can't see temporarily, well, unless you have the ghost squad. Another 
one thing I do want to mention is you do get burned cards from doing challenges, and that's why challenges are pretty awesome. Challenges is, is what makes the game fun. It's like, yeah, hell yeah, I did that. There are many awesome things about this game, and I can go on and on about it. Any combination of abilities plus burn cards just make you all powers. Well, until you die, that is. I do realize it's easier not to die in this game in comparison to other first person shooter if you live long enough to get a Titan. I mean, once you get that Titan, it's like an extra life. If, if, if you play it right and better than the other players, you can easily stay alive till the end of the game. And you might stay alive with just one Titan again. I do. But, you know, the chance of you dying is pretty slim. Yeah, well, you hear nothing good stuff. For sure, there's things I wish to do. I wish you did a better job with this. Everyone knows it doesn't matter. I do want to know, like, why the IMC and the militia are for. Or the bugs, or how the Titan came the stages in this game that I wish the story of life. Like Relic is one example. IMC shipwreck, but it would be nice if they told us how he got there, who the crew was, just so we could experience the Titanfall world. I mean, the world is mesmerizing, in my opinion. Wow, it's, it's an awesome game, though, regardless of story. Which I, I mean, I play multiplayer most of the time, I don't leave it in the game. All right, we got what we came. It would be nice. Awesome work, team. What I would like to see in a future DLC, though, uh, new burn cards. That should be easy to do. I'm sure new maps are great, but even better to add new items in the game. Or better yet, give us a better story mode. It would be awesome if they have an active burn cut that you can use as a reward for doing well too. That would be awesome. It's like a kill streak, but, you know. Like, oh, you got an active burn card available. Like they should be a passive burn card and an active burn card. So, passive one are the ones you can use before the match, and active one are the ones they use during the match. And if you can't tell yet, I really enjoyed it. Back at the first footage that I played in the wild. Even from the epilogue where you have to escape, even if you lose, you get a chance of feeling like you didn't lose completely, you could escape. Well, I end up with no death in the game, with most of the team rage quitting. So I got my MVP, so that's my last challenge, of course. And I'm gonna try to... well I'm gonna... Regen, that's what they call it. Regen 10. But you know, do you want me to go? Sure. Are you positive? Yes, I am. Take me to Gen 10. Then the achievement pops up. Yes, achievement unlocked. Gen 10. Hell yeah. Finally. As always, thanks for watching. You guys have a good one.